Pastor Russ here with Hope for Today. By watching this, you are part of New Hope History, as this is the very first installment ever of Hope for Today. Each week, Monday through Friday, a different staff member will be sharing with you a daily devotional thought. It's only going to take two or three minutes, but I, our hope is that over the course of time that this will become something that is a blessing to you. Because it's our first installment, I'm going to talk about goals today. I believe goals are very, very important. Done correctly, they can provide great motivation in our lives, in every area of our lives, because they help us to take big tasks and break it into manageable pieces. There's an old saying that I love. It goes something like this. If you aim at nothing, you'll hit it every time. We often have great ideas, great intentions, but they fail for the lack of realistic goals. We often make spiritual goals that are unrealistic. We fail, we get discouraged in our spiritual walk with Christ. Social scientists tell us this, you have to do something 21 days in a row for it to become a habit in your life. Remember that and think about that. That idea of that repetition helps something to become a habit in our life. I want to encourage you today to take just a few moments and think about setting some type of spiritual goal. It may be something very simple, such as listening to Hope for Today each day of the week or four days out of the week. That one is easy to do because it's only two or three minutes. Most of us say we could actually do that. Maybe you might set a goal to uh, be a part of a worship service each week, whether it's live or whether it is listening to it online. Some of you may want to join a small group or if you were uh, at our services this past weekend, you heard me talk about the eulogy exercise. That is an incredible worthwhile goal that I would encourage you to undertake. But I encourage you, pick one goal, maybe two, but even just start with one. Start small and build upon your success. As you get into that routine, then you're ready to add another goal. And over time, as you keep adding goals, you will be amazed <clears throat> at what God will do in and through your life by setting manageable, realistic goals, spiritually speaking. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6, we're simply told this, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Don't lean on your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to him and he will make your path straight. If you and I set good goals in our lives, spiritually speaking, they will help us to have hope for today.